Let's all listen and hear what the Mulembe Declaration or the Kakamega 3 has for us. I invoke the spirits of the warriors of Chitembe Liberation War, the struggles of Nabongo Mumia, Paula Goi, Elijah Masinde Wanameme, Masinde Muliro, Wafula Wabuge, Elijah Mwangale, Moses Mudavadi, Martin Shukuku, Musa Malemba, Sudi, Kanona Wori, and Kijana Wamalwa. Nani wengi, naweza taja wote, lakini tutamaliza siku nzima hapa. Mimi nasema pahali waliko, roho zao zitulie, kwa sababu sasa wanatazama watu wa murembe wanakuja pamoja. Welcome back to Vana Media. My name is Bonfesso Weno, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. Uh, we all concentrated on something that uh, we all concentrated on this issue of uh, the Limuru 3, which was organized by the Kikuyu or the Central or the People of the Mountain, uh, by, by, with the likeness of uh, Mata Karua together with the Jeremiah Kioni. But we forgot something. Most of the people did not know that something like this would occur or a day like this will come whereby the people of the Luya nation will also decide to come together to form their own coalition or to form their own conference known as the Kakamega 3. Now, I want us to discuss this, this thing. There's a time that I said here that no one knows the plan of the uh, of the uh, of the president of the Republic of Kenya, that is William Samoy Ruto. And the reason as to why is much concentra is concentrating too much on the people of, of, of Western or the Luyan nation more than the people of, uh, of Central. And I think at this point now, you will all agree with me that everything that I say, I don't just say anything. And uh, everything that I say here, I do a lot of research and I see things far much ahead. Why well, I'm saying this? I'm saying this because there's a time that I said here that if Gashagwa is not very careful, Musalia Mudavadi will become the running mate of uh, William Samoy Ruto, or even if he will not be the running mate of William Samoy Ruto coming 2027. 2032, we, Musalia Mudavadi will be supported by William Samoy Ruto to be the next president. What is happening right now is the people of Western, the Mulembe nation, of the people of the Western, that, is, that include all the leaders, people like uh, Wetangula, people like uh, George Natembea, all, all, people, all those leaders have declared that Musalia Mudavadi is going to become the president, is going to bid for the presidency coming 2032. Why not 2027? Why have they run to 2032? This, this, this is the reason. They've run to 2032 simply because they know very well that 2027, there, there will be no chance for them to be, to, to be in the office as the president because they know that they will support, they will support William Samoy Ruto. And that's why they've decided to form this coalition, or the, yeah, this, to form this alliance known as uh, Kaleluya. They've formed a Kaleluya uh, Alliance. Why? This because they formed this alliance simply because they want to support William Samuruto to coming 2027. Then after supporting William Ruto coming 27, then they will they, it, it will it will give them chance, it will give them opportunity to, to show the trust that to show to 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 win the trust or maybe to show the people of uh, of Rift Valley, to show the, the Kalenjins the the loyalty that they have towards them so that coming 2032 it will be easy for the people of Kalenjin or the people of the Kalenjin to support them the Limuru 3 we don't know what what, what, what was discussed there but okay their main their, their main topics of this or their main reason the reasons why they call it the Limuru 3 but the lawyers 
have got the reasons why they called theirs the Kakamega 3. I want to read for you the coalition or the things that are in the Kakamega 3, their agenda. And that is why, and the reasons why they, they came with the, the name the Kakamega 3. In the Kakamega 3 declaration. On 17th May 2024, all, lawyer, all lawyers to vote, that is number, number one, all lawyers to vote for Ruto in 2027 to the last man. That is number one. The second thing is lawyer, lawyer council of elders to spearhead lasting lawyer Kalenjin unity. And the third one, which is the last, which brings it, brings it to Kakamega 3, is Luya nations to front, to front Musale Mudavadi for 2032 with the support of the Kalenjin nations. Which tribe does uh, William Samorito comes from? Kalenjin. Which tribe does Musale Mudavadi comes from? Luya. So this one brings us to the, this, the alliance called the Kaleluyas. Now, I have questions here to ask. The first question that I want to ask is this. Where is Rigadi Gashagwa in all this? Because the Kalenjins and the lawyers are now forming an alliance. What I knew, maybe what I thought was that since Gashagwa supported William Samoy Ruto in 2022, it will be easy for Kalenjins to support Gashagwa coming 2027 or coming 2032. Why is it that now the Kalenjins are joining hands, are, are forming an alliance with the Luyas and calling it the, the Kaleluya Alliance? Where is Gashagwa in all this? The people that have been behind the Limuru 3 meeting, which are anonymous, number one, I'm saying this out of, without of confidence because according to all the analysis that I've had or, or everything that I've, that I've read, I read and I've witnessed, is that Rigade Gashagwa has been behind all this. I told you one, I asked you one of my videos yesterday when I was talking about the, the havoc of the Limuru 3. If, 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 you, if, you watch, if you've not watched that video, I think it will be advisable for you to go and watch it. I, when I talked about the havoc of the Limuru 3, I asked this question, that why would it be that Rigade Gashagwa talks about Rigade, the, the people of the mountain, um, Martha Karua together, the Jeremiah Kioni, plans for the Limuru tree. And then Rigade Gashagwa comes publicly and mentions them, tells them that if you want to hold a meeting, I'm the senior most political leader. So if you want to hold any meeting, come to me so that we can sit down and discuss. And then he comes again and talks about one man, one vote, one shillings which is one of the major things that were, dis were going to be discussed in Limuru 3. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's like a bit challenging, but I would, like, I would like all of us to understand. Another question is this. Why is it that the Luyan nations were waiting for the people of, the cent of, the people of Mount Kenya to plan for the Limuru 3 is when they also come and plan for their Kakamega 3 and put it on the same day. Yesterday, Museveni came to Kenya. Musale Mudavadi attended together with the, with the president. Rigadi Gashagwa was not there. So my question is, is it, is it true or do you want to tell me that... Uh, the president did not know that Musali Modavadi was going to be crowned as the kingpin of the people of Western or as the kingpin of, 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 of the Luya nation. Was he not aware? Yet they were in the same meeting yesterday. I told you that William Ruto is preparing Musali Modavadi and that is why he was given a position in the government to oversee and to understand every loophole, everything in the government, so that when he will be coming in to vie for the presidency, already he will have known everything that happens in the parliament or in the government. I hope you are together. <laughs> What, what is the motive or what was the objective 
of the people of Luya Nation to put their meeting the same day as the people of Kikuyu or the people of Mount Kenya? Those are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. What was their motive? What was their objective? Of putting the meeting the same day as the people of Mount Kenya, they went to Limuru and these guys went to Kakamega for their Limuru 3, for their, sorry, for their Kakamega 3. Why didn't they choose another name apart from 3? Why couldn't they use 4, 5, 6 or even 1? Why did they decide to use 3? Because I've read for you, their main, their main agenda or their main, their, their, their main, their, their main, uh, their main agenda was, their, 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 let, let me call it their main, de their, their declaration. I've read for you, their declaration was all, all lawyers to vote for Ruto in 2027 to the last man. Another one was lawyers, lawyer council to, en to lawyer council of elders to, spe to spearhead lasting lawyers, lawyer Kalenjin unity. And third, Luya Nations to front, to front Musalia Mudavadi for 2032 with the support of the Kalenjin Nation. In as much as we know very well that, uh, that, that Luya's and the Kalenjins is like, they, they, they are like neighbors. Let me, let me call it like that. Let me, let me say that. They are like neighbors. Why did they decide to go to Kalenjins and not maybe jump this other side to, the, to be maybe Luo's? Why? That's another question. <laughs> so I don't know what you think. I don't know what you think. I completely don't know what you think. But I would like also to hear from you. I also like to listen, to hear from you. What you think? Why did these people decide to put all these meetings the same day? Why did they decide to choose the same name? Like Limuru 3, Kakamega 3. Why is it? That when these people were planning all these things, people, you know, it, it, it's like, no, this thing is, is like, I know, I know even you, when you're watching this video, it's like, it's shocking. Because you did not know that the Kakamega people held their, their, their meeting. And they had this thing called Kakamega 3. We all, all, all of us concentrated on the Limuru 3. We did not see this coming. So I don't know what you think. I just give you time also in the comment section so they can tell me what you think. But a reminder, please, I would like to, you to tell me where, where you're watching us from. After telling us where you're watching us from, give us a comment. Tell us your thought. And don't forget to subscribe. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Bonface Wino. Bye-bye.